Hi friends, welcome to TurboMath channel. In this video, we are going to solve three questions about PEMDAS rule. In the first question, we have 5 plus open parentheses, 12 plus 6 close parentheses, then divided by 6, then times open parentheses, 12 plus 6 close parentheses. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have addition, parentheses, division, and multiplication. Some people solve this question like this. They start from the left and they don't pay attention to the priority of the mathematical operations. They say 5 plus 12 plus 6, which equals 18, divided by 6, then times 12 plus 6, which equals 18. Again, they start from the left and simplify. 5 plus 18 equals 23. 23 divided by 6, then times 18. 23 divided by 6 equals 23 over 6. 23 over 6, then times 18. 23 over 6 times 18 equals 69. They say the final answer of this question equals 69. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. When we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify these parentheses. 12 plus 6 equals 18. Now we have 5 plus 18 divided by 6, then times open parentheses 12 plus 6 close parentheses. Now we have addition, division, multiplication, and parentheses. Again, we simplify these parentheses. 12 plus 6 equals 18. Now the question is 5 plus 18 divided by 6, then times 18. Now we have addition, division, and multiplication. First, we simplify this division. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Now we have 5 plus 3, then times 18. Okay, guys, now we have addition and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication. Because the multiplication has higher priority than addition. 3 times 18 equals 54. Now the question is 5 plus 54. 5 plus 54 equals 59. The final answer of this question equals 59. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. Negative 9 plus 9 times negative 12 plus 12 then times 10. What is the answer of this question? In this question, we have addition and multiplication. Some people solve this question like this. They start from the left and they don't pay attention to the priority of the mathematical operations. Negative 9 plus 9 equals 0. 0 times negative 12 plus 12 which equals 0, then times 10. 0 times 0 equals 0 and 0 times 10 equals 0. They say the final answer of this question equals 0, but this answer is wrong. Again, some people solve this question like this. Negative 9 plus 9 equals 0. 0 times negative 12 plus 12, then times 10. 0 times negative 12 equals 0. 0 plus 12, then times 10. Okay, guys. 0 plus 12 equals 12, and 12 times 10 equals 120. They say the final answer of this question equals 120. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority. Also, addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. When we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify this multiplication. 9 times negative 12 equals negative 108. Now the question is negative 9 minus 108 plus 12, then times 10. Okay guys, 
Now we have subtraction, addition and multiplication. First we do this multiplication. 12 times 10 equals 120. Now the question is negative 9 minus 108 then plus 120. Negative 9 minus 108 equals negative 117. Now we have negative 117 plus 120. The final answer of this question equals 3. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. In this question we have 1 plus open parentheses, 18 plus 9 close parentheses, divided by 9, then times open parentheses, 18 plus 9 close parentheses. What is the answer of this question? Can you solve it? We have addition, parentheses, division and multiplication in this question. Some people solve this question like this. They start from the left and they don't pay attention to the priority of the mathematical operations. 1 plus 18 plus 9 which equals 27 divided by 9 then times 18 plus 9 which equals 27. 1 plus 27 equals 28. 28 divided by 9 then times 27. 28 divided by 9 equals 28 over 9. 28 over 9 then times 27 28 over 9 then times 27 equals 84 They say the final answer of this question equals 84 But this answer is definitely wrong Let's solve this question step by step together To solve this question we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and If you don't pay attention to this rule you get the wrong answer. P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. As you know, multiplication and division have the same level of priority. Also, addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. When we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule in this question, first we simplify these parentheses. 18 plus 9 equals 27. Now we have 1 plus 27 divided by 9, then times open parentheses, 18 plus 9 close parentheses. Now we have addition, division, multiplication, and parentheses. Again, we simplify these parentheses. 18 plus 9 equals 27. 1 plus 27 divided by 9, then times 27. Now we have addition, division, and multiplication. First, we simplify this division. 27 divided by 9 equals 3. Now we have 1 plus 3, then times 27. Okay guys, now we have addition and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication, because the multiplication has higher priority than addition. 3 times 27 equals 81. Now the question is 1 plus 81. 1 plus 81 equals 82. The final answer of this question equals 82. To see more mass videos, subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.